What if you could trade those alarm clocks and rush hour commutes for sandy beaches and endless cups of coffee? Imagine waking up each day on your own terms. That's the dream of early retirement. Many think it requires winning the lottery, but there's another way, harnessing the power of dividends. It's about building a solid financial foundation for passive income. Intrigued? In this video, we'll dive into dividend investing and show you how it can be your ticket to early retirement. So grab your favorite beverage and get ready to embark on an exciting journey towards financial independence. Let's face it, the traditional path to retirement isn't always the most appealing. Working for decades, saving a portion of your paycheck and hoping it's enough can be daunting. That's where dividend investing comes in. Generate income while you sleep. Imagine waking up to find your investment account brimming with cash. Passive income works for you, even when you're not working. Dividends offer a powerful alternative to the traditional retirement model. Don't forget to smash the like button to indicate that you want to retire early. You might be thinking, this all sounds great, but where do I even begin? Don't worry, we've got you covered. This video will be your roadmap to navigating the world of dividend investing. We'll demystify the jargon, break down complex concepts, and provide you with a step-by-step -step plan to get started. No more feeling overwhelmed or intimidated by the stock market. We'll guide you every step of the way. First, we'll explore the FIRE movement, financial independence retire early, and how dividend investing fits into this philosophy. You'll learn how to calculate your FIRE number, the amount of money you need to achieve financial independence based on your desired lifestyle and expenses. Then, we'll delve into the nitty-gritty of dividend investing. We'll discuss safe withdrawal rates, which will help you determine how much you can safely withdraw from your investments each year without depleting your principal. We'll also explore dividend yield, a crucial metric for evaluating dividend stocks. Understanding dividend yield will empower you to make informed investment decisions that align with your financial goals. But it's not just about picking individual stocks. Diversification is key. We'll show you how to build a well-rounded dividend portfolio that can weather market fluctuations and generate consistent income over time. Remember that dream of early retirement we talked about? The FIRE movement is all about making that dream a reality. It's about taking control of your finances and achieving financial independence. No more being tied to a desk job just to make ends meet. FIRE is about freedom, freedom to choose how you spend your time. It's about prioritizing experiences and personal fulfillment over material possessions. It's about being financially responsible and making smart investment decisions. With dedication and the right strategies, anyone can achieve FIRE. Dividends, fueling your FIRE. How do dividends fit into the FIRE equation? Think of dividends as the fuel that keeps your fire burning bright. They're like little paychecks your investments send you regularly. Imagine a steady stream of cash flowing into your account each month. Dividends generate passive income even while you sleep or enjoy your hobbies. You're benefiting from their ability to generate cash flow today. This passive income can help you cover your living expenses. It's like having your money work for you. Dividends provide a sense of financial security and freedom. Calculating your fire number the first step to freedom. Before you get into the world of dividend investing, it's crucial to determine your FIRE number. This magical number represents the amount of money you need to have invested to cover your living expenses indefinitely without relying on a traditional job. Think of it as your ticket to financial independence, the key to unlocking a life of freedom and flexibility. To calculate your FIRE number, you'll need to consider your current annual expenses, your anticipated retirement lifestyle, and your estimated investment returns. It's not as complicated as it sounds. There are plenty of online calculators and resources available to help you crunch the numbers. You may think you could live on $700 a month if you move to a lower cost foreign country or stateside with $3,000 a month in a lower cost of living city. Once you have a clear understanding of your FIRE number, you can start developing a plan to reach that goal. Remember, your FIRE number is not set in stone. It can fluctuate based on your lifestyle choices, life events, and changes in your financial situation. The important thing is to have a target in mind and to regularly reassess your progress. As you get closer to your FIRE number, you can adjust your savings rate, investment strategy, and retirement timeline accordingly. Safe withdrawal rates, tapping into your dividend stream. Now that you have a handle on your FIRE number, let's talk about safe withdrawal rates. This crucial concept will help you determine how much money you can safely withdraw from your investments each year without depleting your principal. Remember, the goal is to make your money last a lifetime. 
So it's essential to strike a balance between enjoying your hard-earned savings and ensuring your financial security for years to come. The most widely accepted safe withdrawal rate is 4%, often referred to as the 4% rule. This rule suggests that you can withdraw 4% of your portfolio value each year in retirement, adjusted for inflation, without running out of money for at least 30 years. While no withdrawal rate is foolproof, the 4% rule provides a good starting point for planning your retirement income. Keep in mind that your safe withdrawal rate may vary depending on your individual circumstances, such as your risk tolerance, investment strategy, and life expectancy. It's always a good idea to consult with a qualified financial advisor to determine the most appropriate withdrawal rate for your situation. Dividend Yield, the holy grail of dividend investing. Now let's talk about dividend yield, a crucial metric for evaluating dividend stocks and ensuring your investments are working hard for you. Dividend yield is like the interest rate you earn on a savings account, except it's paid out by companies to their shareholders. It represents the annual dividend payment per share, expressed as a percentage of the stock's current market price. In simpler terms, a higher dividend yield means you're getting a bigger paycheck for every dollar you invest. For example, a stock with a dividend yield of 4% will pay you $4 in dividends for every $100 you invest, assuming the dividend remains constant. That's $4 you didn't have before, just for being a shareholder. While a high dividend yield is enticing, it's essential to look beyond the numbers and consider the company's overall financial health, dividend payout ratio, and growth prospects. A sustainable dividend is key. You want companies that can consistently pay and ideally increase their dividends over time. Unpacking dividend yield, more than meets the eye, all right? Now that we've got the basics of dividend yield down, let's dig a little deeper. Remember that stock we talked about with a 4% yield? Sounds pretty sweet, right? Well, like a delicious looking donut, it's important to check what's inside before taking a big bite. You see, a high dividend yield can sometimes be a red flag. It might mean the company is struggling and its stock price has dropped, making the yield look artificially high. Think of it like a clearance sale. Those deep discounts are tempting, but sometimes there's a reason those items haven't sold. That's why it's crucial to look beyond the yield and consider the company's overall financial health. Is it profitable? Does it have a strong track record of paying dividends? Is its business model sustainable? These are all crucial questions to ask before jumping in head first. Remember, dividend investing is a marathon, not a sprint. We're looking for companies that can deliver consistent, reliable payouts over the long haul, not just flash in the pan yields that disappear faster than a plate of cookies at a family gathering. Now that we've covered the importance of sustainability, let's talk about a magical little thing called dividend growth. This, my friends, is where the real magic of dividend investing happens. Imagine a snowball rolling downhill, getting bigger and bigger as it gathers more snow. That's dividend growth in a nutshell. See, some companies don't just pay dividends, they increase them year after year. These dividend aristocrats are like the overachievers of the investing world, consistently rewarding their shareholders with bigger and better payouts. It's like getting a raise every year without having to ask your boss. Dividend growth is a powerful force because it compounds over time. As those dividends increase, they generate even more income, which you can then reinvest to buy more shares, which in turn generates even more dividends. It's a beautiful cycle of passive income growth that can supercharge your journey to financial freedom. When evaluating dividend stocks, look for companies with a history of dividend growth and a commitment to continuing that trend. These companies are like the gift that keeps on giving, providing a stream of passive income that increases over time. All right, now that you understand the importance of dividend yield, sustainability, and growth, let's talk about how to build a dividend powerhouse, a portfolio of carefully selected stocks that can generate a steady stream of passive income for years to come. Think of it like assembling a team of all-star athletes. You want players with different skills and strengths who can work together to achieve a common goal. Similarly, your dividend portfolio should include companies from various industries, sectors, and geographic locations. Look for companies with a proven track record of profitability, a strong competitive advantage in their respective industries, and a healthy balance sheet. These are the hallmarks of well-managed businesses that are more likely to weather economic storms and continue paying dividends, even when times get tough. Remember, stock picking is both an art and a science. It requires research, analysis, and a bit of intuition. Don't be afraid to do your homework, 
read financial statements, and follow industry trends. The more you know about the companies you're investing in, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions. Diversification is the golden rule of investing. You know that old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? Well, it applies to dividend investing too. By diversifying your portfolio across different industries, sectors, and asset classes, you can mitigate risk and protect your investments from the inevitable ups and downs of the market. Think of it like building a sturdy house. You wouldn't want to build it on a single pillar, would you? Similarly, your dividend portfolio should have a solid foundation of diversified holdings to withstand market fluctuations. Diversification helps to smooth out your returns and reduce the impact of any single stock on your overall portfolio. Last but not least, let's talk about time. Your greatest ally in the world of dividend investing. The earlier you start investing in dividend paying stocks, the more time your money has to compound and grow. Even small contributions, made consistently over time, can add up to significant wealth down the road. Patience is key in dividend investing. It's not about getting rich quick, it's about building a solid financial foundation for the future. The longer you hold your investments, the more you benefit from the power of compounding and the magic of dividend growth. So don't get discouraged if you're not seeing massive returns overnight. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither are successful dividend portfolios. Stay the course, be patient, and let time work its magic. All right, folks, let's talk about different types of dividend paying stocks. Real estate, that tangible brick and mortar asset that's been a cornerstone of wealth building for generations. But what if I told you there's a way to tap into the lucrative world of real estate without the headaches of being a landlord? Enter REIT's Real Estate Investment Trusts. REITs are like the superheroes of the dividend world, swooping in to save the day for investors seeking passive income and diversification. These unique entities own and operate income-producing real estate such as shopping malls, apartment buildings, office spaces, and even cell towers. And here's the best part. REITs are legally required to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income to shareholders in the form of dividends. We are now venturing into the world of BDCs, business development companies, the financial powerhouses that fuel the growth of small and mid-sized businesses. Think of BDCs as the venture capitalists of the dividend world, providing much needed capital to companies that are often overlooked by traditional banks. BDCs invest in a variety of ways, including direct loans, mezzanine financing, and equity stakes. BDCs are required to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income as dividends, making them a haven for income-hungry investors. But here's the catch. BDCs often operate in higher-risk sectors, lending to companies that might not have the same financial stability as larger, more established corporations. Hold on to your hard hats, everyone, because we're about to talk about MLP's master limited partnerships, the energy infrastructure giants that keep the world fueled and running. MLPs own and operate a vast network of pipelines, storage facilities, and processing plants that transport oil, natural gas, and other essential energy resources. These energy infrastructure behemoths are structured as partnerships, offering investors units instead of traditional shares. And here's the kicker, MLPs are known for their generous distributions, often boasting higher yields than many other dividend-paying investments. However, it's important to note that MLPs come with their own set of complexities including unique tax implications and potential volatility tied to energy prices. Now let's unveil the secret weapon in every savvy dividend investor's arsenal, ETFs or exchange-traded funds. These investment vehicles are like the Swiss Army knives of the dividend world, offering a convenient and diversified way to access a basket of dividend-paying stocks in a single trade. ETFs come in all shapes and sizes, tracking specific sectors, industries, or investment strategies. For dividend enthusiasts, there are ETFs specifically designed to hold a portfolio of high-yielding stocks, allowing you to diversify your dividend income stream across multiple companies with just one investment. The beauty of ETFs lies in their simplicity and flexibility. So, now that we've explored the key players in the dividend investing game, it's time to assemble your dream team a well-diversified portfolio of dividend-paying superstars that can help you reach your financial goals. Remember, diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, no matter how tempting that basket may seem. 
spread your investments across different sectors, industries, and asset classes to create a resilient portfolio that can weather market storms and deliver consistent income over time. Consider your risk tolerance, time horizon, and income needs when selecting investments. If you're closer to retirement, you might prioritize stable, blue-chip companies with a long history of dividend payments. All right, aspiring early retirees, let's get down to brass tacks and explore some real-world dividend portfolio examples. Remember, these are just starting points, and you'll want to tailor them to your specific goals, risk tolerance, and that magical fire number we talked about. First up, we have the early bird portfolio, designed for those who are just spreading their wings in the world of dividend investing. This portfolio emphasizes growth potential with a healthy dose of dividend income. A typical early bird portfolio might allocate around 70% to growth-oriented stocks and 30% to dividend-paying companies. Next up, we have the Coasting to Retirement portfolio, perfect for those who are a bit further along in their journey and seeking a more balanced approach between growth and income. This portfolio typically allocates around 50% to growth stocks and 50% to dividend-paying companies. This allocation strikes a balance between capital appreciation and income generation, allowing your portfolio to navigate market fluctuations while providing a steady stream of passive income. As you get closer to retirement, you might gradually shift your allocation towards a more conservative approach, increasing your exposure to dividend-paying stocks and reducing your allocation to growth stocks. This gradual transition helps to reduce volatility and protect your hard-earned savings as you approach your golden years. Now let's talk about the Income Seeker Portfolio, designed for those who are ready to kick back, relax, and let their dividends do the heavy lifting. This portfolio prioritizes income generation, providing a steady stream of cash flow to support your retirement lifestyle. A typical income seeker portfolio might allocate around 70% to dividend paying companies, 20% to fixed income securities like bonds, and 10% to cash or cash equivalents. Within the dividend paying portion of the portfolio, focus on companies with a long history of dividend payments, a solid track record of profitability, and a sustainable dividend payout ratio. Remember, even in retirement, it's essential to maintain a long-term perspective and adjust your portfolio as needed to combat inflation and ensure your income continues to grow over time. Now before you rush out and start building your dividend empire, remember that these are just examples. The best dividend portfolio for you will depend on your unique circumstances, risk tolerance, and financial goals. It's like finding the perfect pair of jeans. You've got to try on a few different styles to find the one that fits just right. Don't be afraid to experiment, adjust, and fine-tune your portfolio as you gain experience and your needs evolve. Consider factors like your time horizon, income needs, and risk tolerance. And remember, it's always a good idea to consult with a qualified financial advisor to get personalized guidance and ensure your investments align with your overall financial plan. From the ins and outs of dividend yields and diversification to exploring the exciting world of REITs, BDCs, MLPs and more, it's been a whirlwind tour of the dividend investing landscape. I hope you're feeling empowered and inspired to take control of your financial future. Remember that dream of early retirement, financial freedom, or simply having more options in life? Dividend investing can be your ticket to making those dreams a reality. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a proven strategy for building wealth, generating passive income, and achieving your financial goals. Make sure to comment below with the secret word of the day, FIRE or should I say the fire emoji. So that's the power of dividends. They provide the financial security and flexibility to pursue your passions, spend more time with loved ones, or simply enjoy the fruits of your labor. Check out this next video on the screen that I personally picked out for you.